Hi everyone. If the background noise seems a bit um, noisy, that's because I'm working from home and my family members are also working and having online meeting. And because it's quite hot, I have the fan on. So, so you might, you will have guessed that this is in the middle of the lockdown se- um, period where we are all working from home. So, uh, this lockdown period and this working from home has been a had been a very make a very big impact on me because I although I'm not somebody who likes to talk a lot or to go out a lot but I do really appreciate um going to work every day like you know making the my way to my workplace having to go outside and to breathe in air without having a mask on and to talk to my colleagues on uh, about the most um, unimportant things it it does uh, make me feel happy so I was really affected by the lockdown where I have to stay at home and even to lock myself within the a room this very room in fact where I I can do things in complete silence which obviously is not working well enough as you can probably hear also so I one thing that I've been relying on during this lockdown period is to have a ritual so by ritual I do not mean craft of any kind because um, I'm really not called to it and I do not have much knowledge of craft as well and if I'm not inspired to look deeper into it it probably means that it's still not the time yet for me to do it but what I've been doing so far is to learn a lot put in more effort in astrology and in doing so I've come into contact with this branch of astrology called astrology magic so oh it's magic so is it craft of course um I would say it is craft of some kind but being the very lazy person that I am I do not um, and I do not have space in my room to do an altar so I have been doing things the very very simple way which is to read um, the Ophic hymns which I found off internet and you can look for Ophic hymns on the internet um, they are free resource of course there are books as well and I believe the books will have more information on what you can do and what it probably means just that I I do not have a space for more books right now so and you can see this little bottle here so what is this uh, it is the Escalapius series from the online shop Spears and Sanji which make me come looking for Ophic hymns because um, I just bought this out of uh, fun curiosity and also really I do feel that I need some healing uh, especially during the earlier phases of the lo- the virus uh, situation where I had the feeling that I may indeed have to give out on many things this year for example going on holiday to Japan a place which holds great healing and uh, great healing for me so um, it indeed did work and one way Caitlin from Spears and Sundry recommend doing using this um using her her products is the use of um, planetary hours planetary days and reading of hymns on that that um particular thing so um so you hear pen planetary hour planetary day and yes so that's how astrology magic comes in so 
I have been doing Escalapius related Ophic hymns on Jupiter Day and Jupiter Hour. So Jupiter Day being Thursday, but I I decided to finally at the end of um June after several months after I got my Escalapius series to move more into reading really reading planetary uh, hymns uh, that's because just for the fun of it um, just to see how the use of the use of acknowledging planetary bodies in the godly aspects can make an effect on my life and in a way, I decided to do read this Ophic hymns is because it's very simple. I don't need any ritual items, any craft items. Although it will be better if they are, cause it feels more like it feels more like there's something going on. Um, but just to have, just to read something, what I've learned when I started to work with um, Jupiter and Venus, which are, in astrology terms, the benefic planets. So, <laughs> hearing benefic planets, you will know why I decided to work with them first, because they are typically nicer to beginners, probably nicer to beginners like us. Although, it is true that planets and gods, we cannot put their their perspective into our own perspective of good and bad just anyway i just decided to just work with them and on a set hour and day as a form of making at least making something seem safe in these uncertain times um like you know when you are feeling very lost like when they have knelt into another day that's this set ritual seems to ground me somewhat and to in a way remind me that oh today is thursday there's just one more day to the weekend or oh yes today is friday tomorrow is the weekend and i as i said i do not talk a lot so in Working from home, I do not have to attend so many meetings and thus I do not have uh, the use of my voice more often. So to read this somewhat in, in a poetic way also remind me that I have a voice. I can do good things with my voice. I can remember, still remember my voice by the end of whatever is happening and for now it seems like there's no end and you for me I work with Jupiter so on Thursday so I do like this uh, of it him because it feels very powerful when I read it and I generally generally realize that um, after doing this him I feel more optimistic for the day and I feel more likely to connect with my friends um, which sounds very stupid but really I do find a bit hard to connect with my friends through social media because I do really like to see them in person to hear them talk, to see their face, to really in the flesh yeah so and <laughs> I do not like my voice on the electronics and how I look in videos so I have been not using them so I'm, I am pretty cut off from my friends other than WhatsApp and you know Facebook and Instagram where I do not have to talk talk a lot or show my face you know so this Jupiter him reminds me that even friendship um, needs maintaining during this trying period and for Venus day on Friday Venus hour I have 
read that um, Adonis can also be used for um, for Venus Day's um, hint. That's why do I mention this? Because when I was <coughs> reading uh, Vin- Aphrodite's of it him I did not like it a lot it's very long <laughs> for one thing and also um, when I was reading Greek myth I do not really connect with her as a character sad to say so I decided to use Adonis instead where um, it feels uh, more the, the poem feels more closer to my heart especially when there's mention of a of Venus as being too horn. Uh, that's because when I was young, I've read about Venus looking like uh, as if there are two horns, probably due to some planet, um, some something happening on the planet itself. So I do. I'm not sure if that has any um, evidence for that that statement, but. It feels more this version of the Orphic hymn hymns of Adonis feels more close to my heart, and so I read I read that during Venus days. So as you all know, uh, Venus had has uh, was in retrograde maybe one month or maybe a bit more over one month before. So when I was re- I started to do this practice, Venus was actually in retrograde. So I I noticed that every time I finish a uh, Venus hymn, I get really lightheaded and really terrible. So I remember somebody saying that um vi- doing Venus hymns on in doing Venus retrograde feels very terrible and now I have a first hand feel of how that how that sounds like or feels like and during Mercury retrograde I decided to also work with um, read Mercury hymns for to see what will happen and because it is uh, indeed of Mercury going into the underworld I decided to use the Telestial Hermes hymn, which I really like a lot. Cause it the for the last sentence it says and grant our mystic works a happy end. So me being in this tarot community, we I do engage in mystic works of a certain kind. So to read this feels like um, giving a chance to my to my work um, the things that I do and the things that I'm trying to keep together during this trying period and the thing about this after we, is that after reading this hymn I also noticed that things in typical Mercury retrograde styles, style comes back to me uh, and it's not really good as well, but um, I believe that reading this hymn did actually help me to cope with it in a more sensible way. So, yeah, that's probably just a, a talk, a ramble of how I do Ophid hymns and how I've been trying to, trying to um, stay sane during this period. And maybe if you don't know what to do you can try just reading of it hymns on planetary hours planetary days i don't even have a author for it so if you want to do it it's probably even better but i don't have it i just read it and i do feel good effects so probably you will too thank you